I was raised as an only child with two people who basically hated each other just enough to stay together. So I guess you could say I've been mediating since well before I was born. Years before I heard the term mutually assured destruction, I was very familiar with it growing up in that house. Mason Francis Skiles, 45 years old. 10 years ago, he was deputy chief of mission here until his wife was killed. He's damaged goods, but he's manageable. Maybe one of you can tell me what I'm doing here. Three nights ago, an American was pulled off the street in West Beirut. Next morning, we got a communique from a group calling itself the Militia of Islamic Liberation. They have the guy they want to talk. They want you to burger the deal. They asked for you specifically. Your friend Cal, he's the hostage. Cal's the head of all Mideast operations. He talks. You be waiting for bodies to pile up on the embassy sidewalk. What does he want me to do? You're an experienced negotiator. Negotiate. What do you want? I will track Al Riley for the return of my brother, Rafael Borajan. Give me a meeting in Israel. Munich Olympics, Madrid, Flight 305. 46 days. All of this, Rafid Abu Rajal. Is this about you looking for the man who killed your wife? If they can't find your brother, you're gonna have to come up with an alternative. This is alternative. He's given us six hours to deliver the brother. He's hiding. He's been driven so deep, his own people don't know where he is. Right now, there's a hell of a lot of unprotected pieces in the field. Do you think they want to save Cal, or do you think they want to save the information? That's an ugly question. Clearly, the monsters have taken over Lebanon. Something needs to be done. And give Israel the keys to the city? I need to see Cal. And it's impossible. It's only impossible if he's dead. 2,000 years of revenge, vendetta, murder. Welcome to Beirut. <laughs>